do 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 Yeah, this is um, pretty exciting to get to the bottom of this. And then we got we got to send out some feeler caves to look for some more um, pot potential areas to light up. And I guess we're putting them back. I guess I'll grab some stone for that. Because I don't want to use this. Or we, we can use tough, someone said. We'll use tough. It's a little long. We can do that. do that. I'm wondering, how does the portal thing work, chat? Broman, are you here? The what? Um, I'll ask Broman. not here. Confound it! I guess they're dying out there, though. I'd have to bring them up. I wouldn't know how to do that. I can I can test something out. How you doing, Crazy Drink? Welcome in, buddy. We're working on that for sure. How are you doing, bud? How are things? Love watching some Minecraft, but you're in a good place. We primarily play Minecraft here. We play it. So I stream, I try to stream every day. Um, we got some time coming off here soon because I got company coming over to the house. But usually it's 
Monday all day Minecraft, Tuesday half Minecraft, half Tarkov, uh, Wednesday Minecraft, Thursday Minecraft, the Friday is a sub-voted game, and then Saturday is a free day, I pretty much play whatever I want. Uh, we started we started a playthrough of Chrono Trigger recently, and then Sundays all day Minecraft. So yeah, I would say about four four days a week solid Minecraft. And I play hardcore. We have a whitelisted server that I play on sometimes. And right now we're just building a creeper farm. I'm glad you found me too, crazy. Sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. I don't get to play on it as much as I can, man. Don't cap on me. I was on there last night. In fact, I told everybody in there a very big secret. Were you? I was. I was being a heckin' nerd. See? Chat vouched for me. <laughs> I threw you off a tree. I did not. <laughs> you typed, no, I have so much to live for. And then you died and you never came back. And I got to see the uh, sugar cane farm. I broke a toad. I got the totem advancement, the post mortem. I phased through walls in front of Wiz's very own eyes. I wasn't very productive, but I was on the server. <laughs> it's not scary, it's a lot of fun. Ooh, the beacons. Look how cool the beacons are, chat. They hum with greatness. <laughs> Wiz, sure. Got a little bit there to go. Let's get to it. <laughs> Wiz, uh, you don't have to have a totem in regular survival to stay alive. You got to be smart. The totem is like a life insurance policy. You're making a bet to the game that you're going to die. Game's like, you're not going to die. And you're like, yeah, I am. Give me that totem. <laughs> Game's like, no, you're good. Like, no, I'm stupid. <laughs> Get that totem in my hand. You're very particular about your death count. So is Mew. Mew's death count is is very high. Most of my deaths have been just silliness on the server. Like I went in and called everybody a heckin' nerd. And then I think it was Wikipedia. Or Broman. They were like, oh yeah? Well, you should yell that while jumping off the tree and, 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 and do that. And I was like, alright. And I did it and I died on purpose. 
So now that's why Wikipedia always calls me a heckin' nerd. That's why Bromain always calls me a heckin' nerd. Because they're all heckin' nerds now. Confirmed. On server. By me. Heckin' nerd squad. I don't know about all that. Well, yeah, because he hand-built the nether highway. Hi, number nine. I like turtles. I'm not wearing face paint, though, so you can't really recognize me from my original role. I like turtles! The <laughs> whiz! I would say he did about 80% of it. What do you think? Would I be wrong in that number? You agree? Okay. So then to say that he built the nether highway is, is factual. Just like how you say Jeff Bezos owns Amazon. He only owns like 51%, but he owns enough to, you know, you say he owns it. There's also a billion other people that own Amazon too, but <laughs> I own I own a share of Amazon. Yes, Wiz, you help out a lot, and I appreciate you. I've I've heard stories about 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 you helping out. Heard you were looking for you, uh, whatever it was, Wiz convinced me to do it. Oh. I was gonna ask you, how do portals work in a, in a mob farm? Like if I wanted, if I wanted to teleport creepers from the bottom of the build to the top of the build with portals, is that difficult to do? Do I know about the UFO block? No, I don't. I also don't care about the UFO block. But please tell me about it, Crazy Drink. Like, do I have to pass through the portals and confirm they go somewhere for them to be used? Or can I just build them and assume that they're going to work? Alright, now it's getting dark. I'm going to sleep. Hard part will be getting them out of the portal and to go back in after a certain amount of time. The hard part will be getting them out of the portal and to go back in after a certain amount of time. What do you mean, and to go back in? How many Minecraft days old is this world? We don't count that. 
Anyone can stand at their bed and spam right click bund ups and count them as many days as they want. I can tell you how many hours we've played so far. On the nether side, that is. When you send them into the nether, they have to exit the portal and then go back into it. Into the same portal or into another portal? Oh, I got you crazy, Drake. Yeah, no, I never heard of it before. You want them to go upwards, you should want the same portal. So... So can one portal... So, bro man, here. Tell me if I'm, tell me if I'm thinking of this correctly. I have a portal in the overworld, okay? On the ground. I have a portal in the overworld in the air, all right? You're saying that if I have one portal in the nether, that an entity can pass through here, end up here, pass then through here, and come out here, guaranteed? Or is that not always guaranteed? So that that's guaranteed to happen. Is it because you set this at a certain Y level? Is that why? So that way it, it points to that one first when they come back through. So like, so like this will be Y0. This will be Y100. So you build this portal on Y100. That way, when you walk through here, you end up at this, but when you come back, it checks for that one first, right? Is that what I'm to understand? So then... Oh. Bro, man, I got another question for you. I got another question for you. Up as high as possible. Is that why people do four portals in a square like this? With walls around it like this? Because it forces them to come in and out and go through a portal and wind up over here? Is that safe to assume? Or am I missing something there? That's fine, bro, man. I'm just asking if, if what I just drew is accurate. And yes, cats. We're going to need some nether felines. Okay. I got you, bro, man. All right. So. We got we to gotta redesign on our farm. I still want to send everything down the middle, but I have a redesign idea. We're going to we're going to have to experiment. We're going to have to experiment.
Science, yes. Because here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this. So like this and and have the portal right here or whatever uh hold on have that be like where the portal is let me go up one more block but but have Have a cat there. That way when they come out of the portal, the cat scares them into a hole. That would be like right here. And have that times one, two, three, four at the top of the build. So that way when they go through the portal in the nether, they come out of one of those four, see the cat, and jump into the hole. With trap doors around it, of course. And then to get them into portals, it would be the same build as this, just backwards with cats in the middle and portals there. Bro man, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna test it out. But I think if I had cats on the other side of the portal, it would force the creepers into the middle. Or at least that's my thinking. We'll build it and see what happens. But it, it should work. And we can set that up at the bottom in reverse, at the top, the other way around. And we'll be able to have our creeper farm generate a bunch of creepers. And we won't have to do so much water elevators. We won't have to do water elevators for the creepers. We can just do water elevators for the gunpowder. Crazy Drake, I can't either, dude. We're building it from scratch. <laughs> We're building it from scratch. Because I want them to fall down the same chute that they're coming down. It's all going to be compact and together. And they're all going to die at the bottom and all the loot's going to come to the middle. And then we can AFK in the middle and just collect all the gunpowder. And then we'll cover all the spawning zones and just see everything fall down and die from the top. Okay, two more layers down. Let's go throw this block up there. Uh, man, that's a pretty tall scaffolding at this point. <laughs> the scaffolding is very tall, chat. Do, 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 do. So that right there, crazy drink, that's our original um, iron shaft that we dug at Y12 to go look for iron in the very beginning of the world. We cut into it, cutting this hole out. We're going to keep that there. That over there is a water cavern underground. I put glass at the top and bottom because we're going to glass that. We're going to glass all the caves. That way we can still see the caves. Is that good? It's better than nothing, number nine. We're getting there, dude. We're going to hit the bottom today. Yeah, crazy. We're And see, look, this is, this is your first view up top. This is the ocean. Over there's over there's where I first started. There's my mob farmer right there, my original mob farmer. There's the um, top of the world to do a trade. 
advancement. We've got iron farms. And we have a gold beacon that I took the beacon off of because it's down there. We got a tree farm and all kinds of stuff. We're not hitting copper anymore. We can probably get rid of that. We're not anywhere near copper at the moment. So let's break this. We'll do that. Grab these three. Put this back. Go one, two, three. Get that nice sound going. Beautiful. Pop those here. And then we good to go. You have two of those iron farms? I got four going, number nine. They're pretty good, dude. We got lots and lots of iron. Which I have a feeling once we build our auto-sorting storage, like our main storage, we're going to use all that iron. So it's a good thing we've been making it since the beginning of the world. Did I do all this by yourself? Yeah, this is a hardcore world, Crazy Drake. This is a solo hardcore world. Yeah, here. I'll show you I'll show you the gold farm real quick. You gotta you gotta see the gold farm in person. But yeah, this is all this is all by myself, dude. How you doing, Seagull? Welcome in, bud. Check this out. You gotta see the scale of the gold farm to get an idea of, of the no lifing I've done in this game so far. Whee! This is our nether highway. It's in the nether. And then this is the gold farm. See the perimeter? We cleared all this by hand. And I made a gold farm out of it. So that's the kind of spawn rates I want out of the creepers, eventually. And then what we did down here was kind of the similar thing we're doing at the creeper area. We put a wall up here, put glass around the lava. And what we did was we put gray glass over top of the bedrock so it has like a smoky look to it. That's what we did here in the in the in the nether. But yeah, this was this was all done by me. Every single bit of it. We actually went through cra crazy Drake, check this out. We actually went through um Let me find my actual screenshots of the world. This is how it looked once upon a time. This was how it looked after we cut away all of the mountainous things, all the biomes and stuff. I had to go through each and every one of these blocks, Crazy Drake, dig them out and put a bucket of lava down to turn this entire thing into lava. So then here was the first wall. There's two walls. Uh, hold on. There's three walls. 